Hey students, it's Emily Poole. Here are five things that you need to know for AP European History Unit 3, Absolutism and Constitutionalism. Number one, English develops as a constitutional monarchy after the English Civil War and the subsequent Glorious Revolution, which forever forces the English monarch to work with Parliament. Number two, while constitutionalism exists in England, the rest of Western and parts of Eastern Europe are experimenting with absolutism, in which one person has absolute authority. If we're looking at Louis XIV in France as an example, he is consolidating his power through tax and trade tariffs under his very fancy finance minister, Jean-Baptiste Colbert, but also through weakening the power of the nobility, but still keeping them socially happy because, you know, his lavish parties at Versailles. Looking at the East under Peter I, Peter I does this by modernizing or westernizing Russia and transforming it into a state power that can contend with other European countries. Number three, there are economic continuities, such as, you know, the fact that Europeans are still relying on their colonies and mercantilist policies and enslaved labor in order to profit as much as possible. But there are also changes because as Europe is marching toward a market economy, proto-industrialization occurs with things like the putting out system, sometimes called the cottage industry, and the development of new financial systems like the Bank of Amsterdam. Number four, combine all of those things together. If we're looking at the absolute leaders who have full control over the wealth and the military in their country, and because of these new economic practices, they can support a standing army. They can go through a military revolution. There is conflict between them for this idea of a balance of power country, say France, is getting too strong because they're, I don't know, say, taking over their nearby countries, coalitions of other leaders might form together against that one power in order to limit their power. And number five, the Dutch Republic and also the Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth are the exceptions to these rules. Both of them develop as oligarchies of elected officials that rule on behalf of their people. I hope that helped. And if you are still struggling with content or if you just need extra practice, please check out my ultimate review packet. It has everything you need to be successful in the AP class and also on the AP test and probably also in life at this point. You can find the link in the description below. And as always, you can do it. I believe in you.